Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about a new topic um, under user administration called user self-service registration. So if the user does not have any profile into any of the service now instance, they can raise their request, they can fill their registration form and they can raise the request for the service now. So it does not mean that once they raise the request, they will get the access immediately. It will follow some steps. It, uh, somebody have to be accept or somebody have to be agree approved and then only the user will be get that um, access to that service now instance right now for 6134 this instance i don't install that self service registration once you install the self service registration there will be one button here where the user can be able to uh, register their self by using the self service registration plugin okay let me first uh, log into my instance as admin and then uh, let me install that plugin the user registration and then i will show you that how this user self service registration is uh, steps is followed i have successfully logged in that my instance 6134 now i have to land to the plugins module so to do that i have to type the plugins and then type the um, click the plugins module it will be load all the plugins here I have to search that user registration uh, request that plugin. It will I will type that user registration request and this is uh, the free uh, and um, uh, this is developed by ServiceNow Code team. Let's open that uh, plugins. This plugin does not require any um, dependency. So if you want to learn about that user registration, you can just click here and you can have. Uh, see the service of documents uh, the user registration documents how it the flow is follow and all those stuff so i am going to activate this plugin first and after activate the plugin uh, i'll show you that how i'm just going to click the active so it will be uh, activate in it will take some time and it will be activated and then i'll show you that how we can use the user registration form okay right now i think it's activated 97% right now so right now the um, plugin is activated I just click the close and reload the form so it will be closed and reload the form so it will be activated and then I will show you that the step by steps so after I activate the plugin I open this 6134 this um, instance into my incognito mode and right now you can see there is a one more link is showing that request a user account if you don't have a user account click here to the self registration form so this is uh, coming once i activate that plugins called self registration um, request that plugin once i activate the plugin this option is coming this link is coming so the user who don't have that account into the service now this service now 6134 they can click here and they will go to a new form which is actually basically new table called user registration request here they will be able to uh, put their information like uh, first name last name and email address and that will be go to that a request will be go to that user administrator okay so once you raise the request uh, the admin will be able to see um, if you type that user uh, <coughs> registration there is a one module called pending user registration here that request will be received by admin okay admin or user admin who have the roles they will be able to uh, review that user details and activate that user okay so let's try that i am going to open that incognito mode first and i am going to put my uh, details here so first as a user who don't have access here they can click here the self registration form and they can put their name so i'm uh, putting my name and then when I put that details and click the submit it will be uh, you can see that your request has been submitted and pending review you will be received a email when the request is processed so right now you I have submit the request and that will be notified by that user admin, user admin peoples and so once they will raise the request they will create the user I will get the notify so let me go to that my actual window instead of incognito and log in my um, here and if I click the pending user request you will be able to see that one pending request for me 
that is Rohit Kumar uh, my email address and the state is pending and the user is not created right now in sys user table right now this remember that when the somebody is raising the request that information will be stored under user registration request and admin or user admin can be able to create the user based on that after reviewing their details so i am the admin i am opening uh, this uh, record that rohit kumar their email and based on that once i understand yes this is the eligible for the user i can create the user or or else i can reject the user if that i feel that the user is not the user should not be present to my 6134 instance so if i click the create user it will be create a user profile user record into the sys user table okay so once i click the all you will be able to see that all that user request so let me click the all you can see this uh, this user state is processed and this user rohit kumar is created right now okay now if i open that uh, rohit kumar click that it is actually creating a sys user record and then user is notified via email that their profile is created right now you can see right now is the sys user table a user id is that their email address and then and uh, this is their name and all these stuffs now the user and password needs reset is checked so whenever the user will be put their uh, id they will be um, receive one email and then from there only they will be able to log in what i was talking that the user will be notified by email so let's go to the emails logs and see that how that email is generating when that uh, user is created so when i am creating a uh, like the user had been click the create user and create the user you can see that this types of email is generating okay so i will going to i am going to preview that here and i will receive that user id and the password and this is the structure of that out uh, out of box notification structure okay so so the end user who register they will notify by uh, this email address and this is their user id and this is the password so let me get this user id and password and try to log in in my uh, instance because i uh, that end user is re raise the request and user had been activated so let's take that and go to that form put that email address and i'm going to put the password here this is a password i put the password and try to log in and you can see that i am able to um, log in that my first screen now i have to change the password because i am logging the first time very first time so i put my current password whichever i received through the email and i am i set that new password and confirm that and once i click the submit it will be reset my password and i will be as a rohit kumar will be able to log in to the service now instead but i don't have much uh, roles so uh, i think i only able to see that self service module and few more uh, which does not have much that roles specify so the by customization the once user is created we can put some roles also if in future using the customization so that's all about that user registration if you have any question just please let me know in comment section or you can ping me i'll try to respond all your possible uh, question and answer thank you very much